Hey, Ron. How are you doing? That's a jungle out here, buddy. What's that? It's a jungle out here. Yeah, I'm on my uh, way down to Warren from Cleveland. I grew up in Warren. I always liked your show, so I figured I'd uh, tune in. And uh, I just had a couple of things to vent about. I'll try to make them real quick. Um, my generation, I'm 41, and every 10 years, my generation gets screwed over by the Democratic Party. <laughs> um, I, 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 I mean, <laughs> I would love to laugh, but <laughs> there's no future in sight. Every every time we save, they take it right back. Every time we get a stimulus, they take it right back. I mean, I just put twenty five bucks in, and they got me a quarter tank of gas. Like, what? Uh, anybody that is going to vote Democrat in the in the midterms has to. They might have to go see a doctor to get their head examined because there is not one thing that is going right. The borders open, gas is high. We don't have baby formula, yet we're sending $40 billion overseas. I mean, it, it, it's insane. And then on top of all that, it's not just my generation, but 20,000 Delphi retirees, a lot of them in the Warren-Youngstown area, are still fighting for their pension 13 years later. And a year ago, Tim Ryan tweets, oh, I talked to uh, Joe Biden. Yeah, he wants to help. I want to help. I, I'll tell you what. He's been wanting to help for 18 years, and my hometown still looks the same as it did when I left. So, well, I'm, because I'm just uh, with all, all their lip service. Good God, God bless you. Because you know what? You expect better results. And Tim Ryan has been a failure as a congressman. I mean, he certainly is, is no Jim Traffickant. And Tim no. Ryan, I'm going to tell you, Tim Ryan is a career politician. That's interested in the next uh, next place for him to go. He doesn't represent his constituents. He doesn't care about gas prices. He believes in the Green New Deal. He believes in the Bi- in Joe Biden and the Biden administration. As much as he hides himself from it all, that's what he supports. And if you exactly. elect him, he, he'll he, go right he to it. Voted a hundred percent of the time with Biden. So when he talks about government, this government, that you have been the government the last eighteen years. Quit blowing smoke up 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 the voters behind and do something and get results for the Delphi retirees and your community. Quit talking about it. Right. Right. See, you can always see, like, for example, let me give you a shining example. And I think one of the worst things to happen to this community, one of the worst things that happened to this community was the closing of Northside Hospital. That, that, that I think, was, uh, was the most devastating thing to happen because you lost your choice in health care. And, I, and, I, and it's my opinion, I think St. East is overwhelmed, but you've lost your choice. And in my opinion, uh, it, it, in my opinion, he shows up when, it's, when, when the ship has sunk, standing out there with the union people, spouting his, his usual BS. Then he goes home and he forgets about it and did absolutely nothing like traffic would do long before it failed to try to keep it uh, uh, open and functioning in this community. Yeah, and I, I compare trafficking a lot to Trump where, yeah, he might rub people the wrong way, hurt a couple of feelings, but you know what, he, he did what he said he was going to do. He didn't just, he, you know, yeah, say, well, all the, say, all the, say all the cute things and then have nothing to show for it. I mean, I mean 20,000 middle-class Delphi retirees, Tim Ryan's slogan is workers first. Yeah. Okay, well, they've been fighting 13 years and they're – their their pensions were fully funded, so it's not like, yeah, like Tim Tim Ryan like has never been in the private sector. He's been a politician all his life, so so he really is. He's just all talk, okay? He's yeah. just well, all I, talk, and and then he forgets about it and moves on, just like Joe Biden. Joe Biden is a long term career corrupt politician. Tim Ryan is just a long-term politician. He will say, you're watching it, experiencing it. He will say anything to try to get elected to the Senate, even deny the guy that he supported for president, even denying his own record, trying to run as an outsider. Uh, you know, right. a, a regular Judas, if you will. And I, and I used to vote Democrat way back when it was normal and, and not so extreme, but I urge everybody in the midterms, Vote for J.D. Vance because we've had 13 years of Tim Ryan, and I'm sick of hearing sick of hearing talk. We need a- results. Amen. Thank you for your call. I appreciate it. News Radio 570 WKVN and Ron Verb.